Snap at a Peter Channel Lightning News on this Sunday evening, April 16, 2017. Good evening, everybody. On Pete Wiggins here, and now your evening news eyes at 5:30 p.m. on this Sunday evening here, and our top story at 5:30 on this Sunday evening here is Ankara, where churches prefer resident rest up take up in the garden. Country's prime minister declared a victory in the Sunday. Referendum and signs that hand everyone sweeping powers. Chicago. President Trump said someone should look in the paid for the rallies around the country Saturday that urged him to release his tax returns. Cleveland police were searching Sunday for a man who said they killed a person alive on Facebook and bragged about him. Many committed many of our homicides. He is a divide as Steve Stevie Steve Stevens. Abandoned Kushner Shodan and Spicer at the Easter Bunny and Saturday Night Live. More than 100 people, including 68 children, were killed in a suicide attack on Saturday in Rebel Hill, northwestern Syria. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights says the vast majority of the victims were families evacuated from two Shiite villages. Yee. US LA's way options are after North Korea's missile tests, according to the Trump advisor. An Egyptian court Sunday cleared an American woman of child abuse charges related to a non governmental organization she funded aids three children. Berkeley, along with hotbed of postal protests, has emerged as a flashpoint for the Trump era. The latest example of this came Saturday when a clash between backers and critics of the president resulted in a 21 in arrests. Supreme Court with Neil Grush sent to hear a church state case. A huge garbage dump collapsed on homes in Colombo, the capital of Syria, killed at least 26 people, with many hours missing officials said Sunday. An Egyptian court accredited acquitted an American aid worker Sunday after she spent nearly three years in pretrial detention in Cairo. Vice President Mike Pence after. National Security Advisor LT General H.R. McMaster traveled to Kabul, Afghanistan. Saying the United States is considering a full strategy review options. Donald Trump can't be sued for inciting his supporters because the president is immune from civil lawsuits since the lawyer in federal court filings. A Utah man in the fiancé says U.S. Marshal booted him from a Houston fight and route to Costa Rica right in on Saturday after they changed seats without permission of the latest in a string of negative headlines for the Fidel United Airlines company. Meanwhile, the airline has reared policy after the violent removal of Ambassador Cousin Arpour last week. Washington has text aid approaches some show some love for the good people who live in the nation's capital. Washington has struck down the inquiry that politicians love to scorn, sends the most tax dollars per person in the U.S. After the string of corporate requests of Uber is taking an unusual step of releasing financials and highlight its business growth, Uber's growth begins for $216.20 billion, more than doubling them the year prior. NASA honored his way agency's mission to return the astronauts to the moon will be delayed through the space program failures in Europe. A prototype MOF based water collection device is set up that tested on the roof of the building at MIT campus. The Texas Department of State Health Services warned in this week of mobile ongoing mumps outbreaks. The surge was in those 221 cases this year, considered the highest incidence of mumps in the state in 22 years. After decades of failed policy driven by the multi billion dollar federal drug war that criminalizes drug use and addiction, some states are slowly coming around on their own with a new based, health based approaches. Peter Channel News Time is now 5.34 on this. Sunday, Easter Sunday afternoon, going into Easter Sunday evening here, and it is time now for a sports report here. The Boston Red Sox defeat the Tampa Bay Rays at Federal Park 7 to 5. Joe Johnson delivers in a clutch for the Utah Jazz. Eat like the French, drink like the British, and play Tibet's. And basketball likes C.J. McCollum because he's unbelievably good at this sport. In the apples in the NFL, the offseason is in a million relative term. Here we are, full five months beyond four over today and already in the apples Colts. 
Peter Chiodo time is now 5.35 on this Easter Sunday evening here. And it's not enough for having a treasure report on this Easter Sunday evening here. Baby! Let's study off on the MTA with our subway system. It's looking good on our Camille Rail, Western Time Train. 2511, 425, substation up here, 550 minutes beyond between Astro Station and Worcester Station. <sighs> Primary train, 2012, 4 6 a.m. And bounds up right 5 minutes beyond to between Elephant Station and South Station here. And on the ferries, they are looking at here. Okay, look at that time. I was in my ways here of New England here. Down in Gack at 95 on the southbound side. It is southbound between Old Saybrook and Old Line. 95 both in the back of New Haven. 95 on the southbound side. Southbound between Bridgeport and Sanford. 95 on the northbound side. Back to Sanford Stretch. Mayor Parkway westbound side. It is southbound between Bridgeport and Sanford. Mayor Parkway eastbound side. Back to Bridgeport Stretch. 91 on the southbound side, back in the American stretch, 84, both ends of the battle with stretch. 84, westbound side, also Denver down, right, 68 for Ridgefield, New York. 91 on the northbound side, also just before. Here's 84, Harper Garrett, 84, westbound side, back in route 91, Harper Garrett, mass back, westbound side, so between 45 out in Westport and around 84 in service. Mass back, eastbound side, so from 84 in service, all the way to Charleston, 84 eastbound side, is back around 20 and 90 in service. 48 on the southbound side, back up before 290 Marlboro, 290 in the eastbound side, back up with a Marlboro stretch. 91 on the southbound side, back up 290, 157 in Springfield. 95 on the northbound side, it is back up from Route 1 and all the way to Route 128 out in Canton. Route 300 on the northbound side, it's back up 123, must be all the way up around Derby Street and Hingham and Southeast Expressway, both ends back up from the Mass Pike, all the way down to the Bank Street split on the northbound side of the Southeast Expressway. Mass Pike East eastbound side, so from Logan Airport, about to the Logan Airport to South Boston via Ted Wilms Tunnel, 120 South Bound Tide, so between 95 and Peabody all the way after Route 93 to Reddit, Route 3 and South Bound Tide, so on 120 out to Reddit, up in Burlington, Interstate 89 and 91 at South Bound Tide, so to Canadian Board and Upstate Vermont, and all the way to 15 and 55, so on Southern Quebec after the U.S. Canadian border here in Southern Quebec. Peter Challenger's time is now 5.37 on this Sunday evening here, Easter Sunday evening here. And it is turned out for a weather report here. And the uh, calendar may read Easter Sunday, but it turned out to be a taste of summer. Everybody was out and about taking advantage of any outdoor activity, which I watched on the way to church. I watched a couple of runners, joggers, and dog walkers, and all sorts of outdoor activities in men's field. And Sharon, hey, I even spotted. A lone kayaker sailing about the Norton Reservoir here. And very warm conditions combined with all humidity, gusty northwest winds, and very dry surface trails. What was up to the high fire danger across Massachusetts, but on Norman Connecticut on Monday? Each passage of dry, of dry weather increased the risk of reaching critical fire weather conditions. And it'd be a low risk, but actually a strong thunderstorm in the western portion of the southern New England late this afternoon, early evening, and there'll be an elevated risk of fire weather conditions on Monday. And take a look at radar, and it shows a line of rain showers stretching from northern Maine down to eastern Quebec, and a line of showers and storms from eastern Quebec stretching up to Vermont, eastern New York, and northeastern Pennsylvania, and stretch around the Pittsburgh and down around Southern Ohio, and heavy showers and thunderstorms down around Southern Indiana, and Western Kentucky, and now in Southern Illinois, here. All right. Seven day forecast. It goes like this. For tonight, mostly cost guys covered with mostly good toward day, but one fifty six degrees. West about six to ten miles cut side, twenty four miles an hour. Monday, mostly cost about seventy two degrees. North west about nine miles cut side, twenty three miles an hour. Monday night, park cost about forty degrees. North about three to five miles an hour. Tuesday had chance of drizzle between 10 a.m. and noon. Pretty sunny. The podcast about 50 about 35 degrees. Northwest east wind about 5 to 9 miles an hour. Shouldn't have been east wind about 6 miles coming coming at midnight. There. One day, put that sky about 52 degrees. One night, shot like me after 1 a.m. Class got about 41 degrees and chest pace is 6%. But Thursday had chance of class got about 54 about 42 degrees and chest pace is 6%. Friday, shot like me before 9 a.m. Class got about 53 about 40 degrees and chest pace is 6%. Saturday, most parts of Sunday, the mostly cast by 57 and about 39 degrees. And for Sunday, parts of Sunday, about 58 degrees here. In Tottenham, it's Fahrenheit 80 here. In Havel, it's Fahrenheit.
Spare name five, not in the spare name four, and men's field spare and name four. And that is gonna be it for the Peter Channel. Evening news on this Easter Sunday evening, April 16, 2017. I appreciate the works. I hope you have a good evening. Goodbye, sir. Turn off. See you at 11 o'clock. We're at Lane Airport. I hope y'all have a good evening.